One question I've gotten a lot about coils is, does it really matter how I wind them? So like the size of the wire, how tightly I wind it, uh, things like that. Now, obviously the number of turns will change things. So what I've done is I have wound 10 turns in each of these. This is a 19 gauge wire, tightly wound. This is a 19 gauge wire, loosely wound. 20 gauge, tightly wound, and 24 gauge, tightly wound. And then I've got a wild card sitting off camera, which we'll look at in a second. So let's just hook up the, uh, the meter and see what happens. So we'll start with the 19 gauge on this end, because I kind of like 19 gauge. And we get 4.94, call it that, uh, for the first one. So that's kind of our, that'll be our standard, almost 5. And then we'll put that there, and we'll move that one there. Ah, so we've gone, gone down to 4.4, and what is that, a loss of one, one eighth roughly, one, one, yeah, in that area. So we've lost about one eighth of our inductance, and Let's see, the next one is, this is the 20 gauge, and we're not on. Over range means that it's not making connection. 4.9, so you notice we've gone back closer to this value. So changing it by one wire gauge is not terrible. We can get away with that, there's just off by a little bit. So this one is a little bit higher. So this was roughly 4.9 something, and this is closer to 5. And then the last one is a 24 gauge, tightly wound. And we'll see how that one does. Um, I got this clip in the way. Okay. Ah, so we went up by quite a bit. This is 5.37. So you can see that the uh, more compact the coils are, in other words, if you get more turns per unit, so more turns per centimeter, your um, inductance goes up, and fewer turns, so in other words, a bigger wire, your inductance goes down. So let's uh, bring in something else that's a little more radical. Put 10 turns around a much larger form, and that's this thing. So this is a, uh, what is that? Yes, it's a two inch pipe. Um, and we will clip to this. I don't think I have that on there well. One, two, okay, everything's off where you can't see it. There's one, there's two. And what we can see is that these 10 turns are twice what the smaller pipe was. So yeah, the, so the question is, um, can I change my coil? Can I change the diameter? Can I change the wire? Yes, you can, but you have to compensate for it. Uh, obviously, if I went down to more like five turns, I would be getting the five microhenries that I got with the others. Um, so yes, you can compensate, but if you just do straight up 10 turns on a bigger form, or you do 10 turns with smaller wire in a tighter space, those things all affect the total amount of inductance in a coil. And that was it, just a uh, quick and dirty there to uh, let you know that yes, in fact, uh, the size of the wire, the number of turns, the size of the form, and in fact the size of the wire and how tightly you wrap it all make a difference on your final outcome. Okay, hope you found that useful and interesting in your production of inductors and crystal radio building.